was younger, it was common for me to be very confused. But my mother was like this. My sisters were like this. My grandmother were like this. So we had a lot of mental illness, a lot of very erratic behavior, a lot of rageful cycles. Back in Christmas 2003, I'm sitting in the back seat with my husband speeding down the road in that tiny little rural town getting to the ER. And I'm realizing this child of mine is my delight and it looks like we're going to lose him. He was saying, Mom, Dad, I can't see. Mom, Dad, I'm so sorry, I love you. It wasn't any more than 30 minutes later, he slipped into a coma. was kept in a medicated coma for a couple of days. The doctors were saying that if he does wake up, he will be a vegetable, cerebral palsy, or worse. And um, we were prepared for, you know, some pretty devastating changes in our family. And then finally the time came for my son to wake up from the coma. I was at my grandmother's house, I took an hour nap, and then I woke up and thought I was in a jail cell because the hospital had bars on their window. <laughs> it felt like it was only an hour, but apparently I was out for an entire week. We finally found a doctor at UCLA who finally diagnosed him with a urea cycle disorder. It took me a while to finally put the pieces together because he kept looking at me during the consultations. Oh, so all of this past medical history you're saying that I experienced is normal for this urea cycle disorder. I'm a carrier, I'm a, and he's shaking his head and he's saying yes, and you also need to go get treated. A urea cycle disorder basically is the body's inability to process ammonia. It builds up to toxic levels and the first thing it does is it attacks the brain. And you can get something as simple as mental confusion, migraines, and then eventually you go into crisis, the ER, coma, or death. Everyone keeps saying that if you have some sort of disorder, you usually must have a hard life. You think that you can't go life normally, but that's basically a complete wrong statement because I've known about this disease for at least more than 10 years now, and I kind of feel like I'm not any different from any other person. The medications that currently we're on is um, just revolutionary. He had a stronger attention span. He could be more on focus, on target. Myself also, it was far more better for me metabolically. I mean, cognitively, I feel much more sharper. My medication alone is like $27,000 a month. And we're trying to figure out how are we going to be able to do this. Plus, we've got my son's medication. So our patient assistance lady told us about Good Days offering a patient assistance program for prescription. And I'm very grateful that we were awarded the grant. And they paid for our deductible and out-of-pocket cost. Because of that grant, it was going to be OK. Many people assume just going to go see your doctor is nearby. Many of these specialists are very hard to travel to. The Good Days travel assistance takes that extra stress, that extra worry off because we don't have to worry about, oh, do we have enough money in the gas tank for this, you know? And they communicate with you, they give you the itinerary. You don't have to be worrying about what credit card paid the hotel bill, you know? They, they take care of that. Pour one in. See, you do I'm a poor have... job here. Oh, very good. One thing I want to let everyone know is how appreciative my family is for the help that Good Days has offered us. By having this daily medication, it is life sustaining. It is so revolutionary and so important to us that um, I can't imagine life without it.